सर एक दोन तीन डिवाइसेस तर आवाज इको हो हेलो आई एम ऑडिबल यस सर गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ यू सर एकाच ठिकाणी दोन तीन डिव्हाइसेस आहेत तर तो आवाज इको होतो नाही सर आम्ही वेगवेगळ्या ठिकाणी बसलो सर ठीक आहे थोडस लांब बस चालू करा हॅलो हॅलो गुड आफ्टरनून एव्हरीबडी गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून मॅडम हा आलम प्रभू गुड आफ्टरनून अँड ऑल दर यू मॅडम फाईन ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर युअर लेक्चर हा थँक्यू मॅडम थँक्यू मॅडम गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून मॅम गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ पार्टिसिपंट हेअर माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर प्रवीण डी बालुदकर असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रसशास्त्र आणि भाषाची कल्पना धन्वंतरी आयुर्वेद महाविद्यालय उगीर टुडे वी आर हिअर गॅदर्ड हिअर फॉर द नॅशनल वेबिनार ऑन आयुर्वेदिक मॅनेजमेंट ऑफ लिव्हर डिसऑर्डर्स द वेबिनार इज द थीम ऑफ वेबिनार इज हमारा आयुष हमारा स्वास्थ्य अँड आयुर्वेदा फॉर न्यूट्रिशन एनरोस्ड बाय दॅड ॲफिलेटेड बाय द महाराष्ट्र युनिव्हर्सिटी ऑफ हेल्थ सायन्स नाशिक महाराष्ट्र काउन्सिल ऑफ इंडियन मेडिसिन मुंबई टुडे सेशन टुडे वी हॅव द टू सेशन इन टू पार्ट वन इज टू पी एम टू थ्री पी एम अँड सेकंड वन इज थ्री पी एम टू फोर पी एम इन दॅट सेशन फर्स्ट सेशन इज रोल ऑफ रस औषधी इन द मॅनेजमेंट ऑफ लिव्हर डिसऑर्डर्स and second pick of the session is a role of herbal medicines in the management of the liver disorders for this session first of all i uh, invite and uh, 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 to or uh, uh, dr josna gulane madam observer muhs nasik i invite dr uh, dattatre patil sir principal of our the dhanvantari ayurveda mahavidyalaya uh, as i uh, earlier said that the, we have two sessions in the one step session role of ras aushadi sir your voice is not audible voice voice is not hello yes sir continue i am i audible yes sir yes. uh, as i said that we have two sessions the first session the role of the ras aushadi in the management of liver disorder we have a eminent speaker dr alam prabhu sir uh, for chairman for this session dr veena kanti madam dr uh, uh, co-chairman for this session we have dr rajesh singhole sir and the section will be coordinated by dr balaji kattewar sir hod of department of rashastra and bhashya kalpana dhanvantari ayurveda dalu udgi i invite all of you for the session and uh, in the second topic as the role of the herbal medicines in the management of liver disorders i invite the eminent speaker dr raman belge sir chairperson dr mangal morvale ma'am <coughs> co chairperson dr dinesh kelgaukar sir and the session will be coordinated by dr gurraj varnale sir assistant professor dhanvantari ayurveda mahavidyalaya rashastra vaishya kalpana department udgi 
before starting to the session we uh, are going through the danvantari stavana <laughs> शंखम चक्रम जलौका दधतम अमृत घटम चारु दौर्भीश्चतुर्भी सूक्ष्म स्वच्छा तिहृद्यांशुक परिविलसन मौलिम भोज नेत्र कालांभोदो ज्वलांगम कटितट विलसत चारु पीताम्बराढ्यम वंदे धन्वंतरिम तम निखिल गदवन प्रोढ़दावाग्निलीलम रागादिरोगां सततानुषत्तान अशेष काय प्रस्रोतानुशेषान अउत्सुक After the Dhanvantri Stavana, uh, we will start with the, our first session. Uh, screen sharing. The role of Rasaushadis in the management of the liver disorders. Uh, for the session, I hand over to the Dr. Balaji Kattevar, sir, coordinator of this session, uh, HOD and professor department of Rasaushadis and Bhaisaji Kalpana Dhanvantri Ayurveda. It's over to you, sir. Sir, unmute yourself, please. Sir, unmute yourself. Myself, Dr. Balaji Sir, unmute, please. Hello. Uh, yes, sir. Hello. 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 Yes, sir. Please continue. Okay. Nice. Uh, nice. Myself, Dr. Balaji Kattewa, HOD and Professor of Depth of Prashastra and Bachaji Kalpana, behalf of Dhanvantari Ayurved Medical College, Udgir. Let me introduce today's webinar's guest. First, our chairperson is for the first session, Dr. Veena Kanti, ma'am, Principal LKR Ayurved College, Gadingas, Kolapur. Dr. Veena Kanti, ma'am, completed MD in Ras and Bhashaji Kalpana subject at MHS Nashik. Ma'am, was published around 90 research papers, five national journals, seven international journals, Seven mag. Sir, unmute, please. Published books. Ma'am, having research and development experience, work done on antioxidant and analgesic ETC, participated in national and international conference, attended seminar as a participant, as well as chairperson and expert. Professional activities involvement at MUHS and Rajiv Gandhi Health University, Karnataka. Madam received a two time rank award from Karnataka University. Also received an award for the best paper presentation. I request Honorable Madam to be a chairperson of this session. Now I will introduce today's co chairman, Dr. Rajesh Ingole, sir. Professor, Government Ayurved College, Nanded. Dr. Rajesh Ingole, sir, completed MD, PhD in the Rishastra and Bhashaji Kalpana subject at MUHS Nashik, Maharashtra. Sir, have published more than 27 research articles. Also delivered guest lectures as a resource person. Attended many conferences, workshops, 
teacher training program now today main guest for lecture dr alun prabhu sir sri singulu ambika ayurved medical college and hospital research center kalburgi sir is acting principal since 2012 sir is the eminent speaker of this session sir is the academic member in rajiv gandhi health university karnataka also sir is the senate member of rajiv gandhi health university karnataka also sir is the bos member in rajiv gandhi health university of karnataka sir was ccim member uh, committee uh, ccim committee member new delhi also sir as local inspection committee member at rajiv gandhi health university sir have published various research papers articles national and international papers conducted various training program in india also done the various social activity in the rural area today he is delivering lecture on the role of prasavshidi in the management of liver disorder i hope every student gain the knowledge and utilize at clinical practice respected i request alun prabhu sir to start his lecture uh thank you sir thank you very much it's my pleasure to be a part of this uh, uh, webinar because uh, the chairperson is my guide and my co guide i have attended a number of our classes i know the depth of our study in rashi shastra uh, it's my pleasure first of all i would like to thank uh, the principal vaidya dattatreya v patil sir uh, for inviting me to deliver a lecture in this uh, seminar on the role of rasoshadi in management of liver disorders i also uh, thank uh, vice uh, co chairman and uh, katewad sir and all other uh, dignitaries who are present in this uh, session so role of uh, rasoshadi in the management of the uh, liver disorders Uh, we all know uh, shloka popular shloka that is alpa matra upayogitvat aruche aprasangatvat kshipra arogya daitvat adhiko rasah the bhasma is a form of medicine in which the particle size is very finer uh, level just i have taken this picture uh, from a publication uh, which was published by the karnataka university dharwad uh, and uh, the karnataka state government uh, bhugola shastra department geographical department so Excuse i have me, sir, uh, sir slides are not changing can you stop ah, sharing minute. and reshare ah. again okay okay right one minute sir one minute yes sir sir this pic is from uh, a publication from a state government uh, geographical department and book was published by karnataka university dharwad sir why i am showing the, this picture is uh, according to the uh, bhugola shastra if you see the uh, epicenter of the earth in the epicenter uh, there is a high pressure high temperature and the oxygen uh, absence of oxygen and all the metals and minerals especially heavy metals and minerals they were present in the center of the earth so if you come to nearer to the earth then what happens the high pressure high temperature and absence of oxygen it will start reducing there is a high pressure in at the center but when gradually when we will coming towards the surface of the earth the temperature reduces the pressure reduces and nearer to the earth surface uh, oxygen presents in the form of uh, water so this is the structure of the earth and the heavy metals and minerals 
which were present in the epicenter of the earth they started simplifying because of the high temperature high pressure and absence of oxygen from the center of the earth they started simplifying and after simplification they will start to, to move from epicenter to towards the surface of the earth जो हेवी मेटल्स अर्थ के एपिसेंटर में रहते हैं वहां का हाई प्रेशर हाई टेम्परेचर ऑप्शंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन वजह के कारण वो सिंप्लीफाई होते हैं उसके कारण सिंप्लीफाई होने के एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर में सिंप्लीफाई होने के बाद में दे स्टार्ट मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द सरफेस ऑफ द अर्थ एंड देन वे कम नियर टू द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ दे विल गेट ऑक्सीजन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वाटर वन सेकेंड दे विल गेट सिंप्लीफाइड अर्थ सरफेस के ऊपर आने के बाद में स्टिल दे रिक्वायर्ड सम सिंप्लीफिकेशन ऐसे ही हम नहीं ले सकते आयरन नहीं ले सकते अब्रका नहीं ले सकते सो देन स्टार्टेड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ पुटा एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा तो उस हेवी मेटल्स एंड मिनरल्स को स्टिल वी रिक्वायर्ड 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 द सिंप्लीफिकेशन इसीलिए हम जब पुटा बनाते हैं शरावा संपुट बनाते हैं एक उसमें एक स्ट्रक्चर क्रिएट होता है शरावा संपुट के हम कुछ मेटल्स मिनरल्स वी विल टेक द मेटल्स एंड मिनरल्स वी विल गिव सम भावनाज वी विल प्रिपेयर चक्रिकाज एंड व्हेन वी विल कीप इन द शरावा संपुट देर देर इज नो देर इज लेस वेरी लेस प्रेशर देर इज वेरी लेस टेम्परेचर एंड देन दो मेटल्स एंड मिनरल्स विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन भस्मा After this, we will give it to the. Uh, they will convert it into uh, uh, therapy. They were ready to the to give the internally. Uh, so this is a brief uh, on why the concept of uh, uh, resources or bhasmas uh, started in a Russia astra. Once our external affairs minister Murli Manohar Joshi, uh, when was in a, he was uh, external affairs minister in uh, Atal Bihari Vajpayee cabinet, he visited uh, France. and in france uh, external affairs minister shown him one uh, document in the france the document says any physician in uh, europe or france etc if he wants to prepare any mineral preparations and mercurial preparations he has to prepare compulsory under the supervision of an uh, indian physician the meaning why i have quoted this uh, example is so we were the pioneered or हम वही वो लोग है जो रसोशी का इन्वेंट किए इफ यू सी दर्ड थेरापेटिक्स थेरापेटिक्स इज ए इंग्लिश वर्ड एंड इट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम दी लैटिन वर्ड थेरापुट एंड थेरापुट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम दी वन मोर वर्ड थेरापुता थेरापुता इज ए पाली लैंग्वेज वर्ड इन पाली लैंग्वेज थेरापुता मीन्स बौद्ध भिक्षुक एंड ही इज वेरी नॉलेज पर्सन एंड थेरापुता पाली लैंग्वेज वर्ड इज डिराइव फ्रॉम दी संस्कृत वर्ड स्थविरा in sanskrit stavira means knowledge so the prepare the different pharmaceutical forms were invented by the indians this is my aim to quote all these examples and next is if you see the uh, rasoshidas rasoshidas are popularly being uh, used from the period of uh, rasacharya nagarjuna share it with me हाँ वन मिनट नेक्स्ट वन मिनट सर सर स्लाइट प्रॉब्लम इन शेयरिंग दी स्लाइड्स आई विल गो टू नहीं नहीं ओके आई विल शेयर इट यस सर सो द मेनी नंबर ऑफ रसोशिडीज आर यूजफुल इन एक्रित विकारा just one minute sir some technical issues yes sir while uh, while some of these are routinely practiced and majority used and 10% of the population are affected with various uh, types of uh, liver diseases yesterday i have seen uh, the one report from the government of india health and family welfare from 2019 to 2000 Uh, in 2021 so from age group 29 to 35 uh, there is a uh, 
gradual increase or the incremental development in the liver disorders. From 35 to 51 age group, there is a quantum jump. So this is, uh, according to them, it may be because of the lifestyle uh, and other things. And 60,000 deaths are due to hepatitis B annually, and more than 170 million people having infection with the hepatitis uh, C virus. Uh, coming to the Ayurvedic part, Ekrut, it is made up of uh, two words. One is Ya Krita. Ya means Yama Sayame. So Yama Sayame, Krit means Karoti. Sayama means control. Today we are telling in modern science, uh, all the metabolic activities is because of uh, liver. Liver is the kitchen of the uh, body, etc., etc. Today we are claiming. But if you see the Shabda Kalpadruma, Yama Sayama Karoti Itika Yakrut. Sayama, it controls the entire body. Yakrut and Pliha are formed by the uh, Rakta in Garma, according to Shushruta Sharira, fourth chapter, uh, 25th shloka. And if you see the Charaka Samhita, seventh chapter, 12th shloka, Charaka says 15 Kostangas are there, Ekrut is one of it. And if you see the Charaka Vimanasthana, 5th chapter, 9th shloka, or Shushruta Sharira, 9th chapter, Ekrita and Pliha are Mula of Raktavaha Shrutas. These are the some of the references uh, uh, regarding the Ekrit uh, Avayava. And this is just to uh, show a uh, uh, anatomy of the uh, liver. And if you see the functions of the liver, so mainly six type of we can classify into six type one is secretory excretory and mainly we see the metabolic uh, uh, function uh, synthetic and detoxification and storage in secretory it bile and uh, bile uh, add from the cholesterol or conjugation of bilirubin both secretory and bile if you see the excretory excretion of uh, exogenous dyes like bsp rose bengal etc and as far as the metabolic uh, function is concerned, one is the carbohydrate metabolism, lipid uh, me metabolism, amino acid metabolism, cholesterol synthesis and est uh, esterification, ammonia formation, mineral metabolism, vit vitamin metabolism, nucleic acid metabolism, so etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So mainly we will. Uh, uh, main function of the uh, liver is the this metabolic activity and synthetic is the synthesis of aluminum uh, albumin uh, and then alpha 1 and uh, catenin uh, globulins clotting factors binding proteins transform uh, transforming transport the proteins and if you see the detoxification of the uh, xenobiotics steroids thyroid hormones and endogenous metabolites and as, well, as we all know, the storage is storage of uh, glycogen, vitamin B12, and uh, vitamin uh, A. Uh, just I would like to uh, share one uh, small uh, thing regarding the metabolism. So metabolism of the uh, uh, this enzymes, liver, one of the function is the enzymes. Uh, when I'm doing my research work on contraceptives, so at that time, my university, Gulbarga University, I had a coll in co collaboration with the uh, uh, one uh, university in the England. So there we uh, we have we have a discussion with them about the how the contraceptive rasoshiti is mentioned in Ayurveda, how they will act. So they after a long term discussions, uh, they says uh, when we consume the food, so some of the enzymes will act on the food. They will uh, simplify the food. And uh, after simplification, simplification, and simplification, cholesterol form. And when the cholesterol form, enzymes from liver, enzyme, uh, liver uh, secretes uh, some enzymes. And those enzymes will simplify the cholesterol. And once again, some enzyme secretion, one, like this, some chemical chains will take place. At the end, testosterone in male will form, and other uh, female hormones will form in the female. And the rasoshedis in uh, Ayurveda mentioned for contraceptives, they will act a enzyme inhibitor. They will inhibit some of the enzymes, thereby they stop the formation of uh, hormones and thereby it will act as in contraceptives. In, so likewise, the metabolic activity of the liver 
have got number of uh, other effects also. So mainly as we see the functions of liver in uh, six categories, the main category is uh, the metabolic function of the uh, liver. If you see the Ekrit uh, Vikara, the references in the uh, Samhita, in Shushruta Nidana 7th chapter 16th shloka, he says Ekrit Tullodara, and in Charaka Chikisa 16th chapter 34 to 36 shloka, he mentioned about the Kamala. In Charaka Chikisa 16th chapter 37, 38, he mentioned about the Kumbha Kamala. And Shushruta Uttarasana 44th chapter 14th shloka, or if you see the Madhava Nidana 8th chapter 22, 23 shloka, he, there he mentioned Halimaka. And the, if you see the Shushruta Uttara 44th chapter, Lingharaka or Langavaka Alasaka, they mentioned. And in Vangasena, he mentioned the Panaki. So Vangasena also mentioned a number of things. Of, uh, just to, uh, while discuss one of the oral uh, discussions, uh, we discussed about the Avipatikara Churna. If you see the Avipatikara Churna, in Vangasena, Avipatikara Churna is mentioned, but there he had not mentioned um, the addition of the Sharkara. Without adding Sharkara to other uh, components of uh, the Avipatikara Churna, it will act on uh, Madhumeha diabetes. If you add uh, the Sharkara to that uh, same combination, Tripala, Trikoto, Trivrut, uh, with the Sharkara, they will act as an uh, uh, Amla Pitta. So likewise, uh, different uh, things were uh, discussed in uh, uh, in the, the different uh, samitas. So liver disorders, though acute uh, liver diseases like uh, viral hepatitis, liver abscesses, toxin or uh, drug induced uh, hepatitis. So this is mainly we are seeing today in uh, many cases. Number of patients will come to the hospital. Say they say, sir, ham ham sharab nahi pite, ham chai nahi pite, ham ek uh, supari bhi nahi kate. Even then we are. Uh, suffering with some liver disorders. So there many of them are like in thoda sardar dhua prosin lete hai. Toxin or drug induced hepatitis, acute uh, liver failures, and some of the chronic liver diseases like uh, chronic hepatitis, alcohol induced hepatitis and liver diseases, cirrhosis of liver, drug induced hepatitis, portal hypertension, hepatic vascular damage, hepatic encephalopathy, metabolic disorders, example, uh, Wilson disease. So uh, in lower set, some of the photographs of those uh, diseases. <coughs> Autoimmune liver uh, disorders, like uh, primary biliary cirrhosis, primary sclerosing uh, cholangitis, autoimmune hepatitis, and some of the genetic diseases, like a hemochromatosis, Wilson disease, deficiency of alpha-1 antitrypsin. So likewise, like uh, acute, uh, chronic, autoimmune, genetic number of classification we can uh, see in the liver disorders. Uh, apart from these acute, chronic, autoimmune and other classification, like other uh, disorders like li liver tumors, fibrocystic disease of liver, obst obstruction in uh, hepatobiliary tract tumors, gallbladder stone inflammation, physical injury, but the cherry syndrome. So likewise, we can see a number of diseases, but the manifestation of liver diseases were in uh, different, uh, this one. Uh, the patient may come with uh, abdominal pain or the patient may come with the yellowish color of the skin and eyes, or the patient may come with the complaint of nausea and uh, omitting, or the patient may come with uh, swollen abdomen, the patient may come with uh, itchy skin, and the patient may come with uh, weight loss. There we have to take the case history, Nidana, et cetera, et cetera. And then we have to find out the Samprapti. Uh, so with the differential diagnosis, we have to see whether the condition is, the symptom is because of the uh, liver, liver disorder or with the, any other uh, diseases. That the differential diagnosis we have to do. And mechanism of, uh, what is the mechanism of uh, hepatotoxicity? Uh, most of the hepatotoxic chemicals damage the liver cell mainly by inducing the lipid per, lipid per oxidation and other oxidative damages in the liver. So oxidative damages jo hota hai. So because of that, we will see the hepatotoxic. So sometimes, uh, abhi recently, YouTube mein bol raha hai ki aap uh, ghar mein jo khana pakate hai, gas sim rakke oil ko pehla garam karna, uske baad mein jo aap sabji daalte, uske baad mein hai karna. What is the reason? 
इफ हंड्रेड एंड टेन डिग्री के ऊपर अगर आप ऑयल हीट करते हैं ऑक्सीडेट होता है दे विल बिकम टॉक्सिक सो इन द लिवर इफ यू सी द ऑक्सीडेशन एंड अदर ऑक्सीडेटिव डैमेजेस इन द लिवर दे विल लीड टू दैपेटोटॉक्सिक सिम्टम बै फॉर्मिंग दि रिएक्टिव फ्री ऑक्सीजन रेडिकल विच डायरेक्टली इंड्यूज दि हेपेटोटॉक्सीटी सो वन ऑफ द मेन रीजन फॉर दि हेपेटोटॉक्सिक इज दि फॉर्मेशन ऑफ रिएक्टिव फ्री ऑक्सीजन and third is the increasing the apoptosis and reducing the glucothionin stores and antioxidant of the human body antioxidant ka agar wo kami hai then we may lead it may lead to the uh, hepatotoxicity so what are the markers of the hepatotoxicity so we we all know one is the aspirate uh, serum transferase like that is a est or sgot then alanine amino transferase that is alt or uh, sgpt alkaline phosphatase alp lactate dehydrogenase ldh are total bilirubin total protein triglycerides <coughs> and gct gct levels these are all the uh, markers of the hepatotoxicity we will take the readings and then based on these readings uh, we will find out the hepatotoxicity so now if you uh, if you see uh, whatever may be the conditions or that based on the uh, different conditions uh, then drugs acting on them is also di different uh, once uh, dr as prashant who is now the pr pr principal of hubli uh, ayurvedic college he used to take a class for us he says the uh, in uh, kamala is there halimaka is there ekrita vikara is there or number of conditions are there for different conditions different medicines are uh, there we can quote one example for example adhoga rakta pitta if bleeding is there from uh, anal root we used to give the kutaja if bleeding is from uh, penis we will give to the nagakeshara if the bleeding is from uh, garbhasha then we will give the lodra so likewise uh, we will uh, give the medicine in accordance with the conditions of the uh, diseases uh, we cannot give uh, the generalized medicines so what is the condition based on condition we can give the different uh, medicines in the same way drugs used in ekrit vikara ekrit vikara if ekrit vikara is there so ekrit vikara number of ekrit vikaras are there like kamala halimaka ekrit vridhi pitta shravak ekrit vikara etc etc so if a patient is with the kamala we may give Uh, after examining the patient after seeing the patient amalaki ankota apamarga arka bhumi amalaki bilva danti daru haridra drona pushpi guduchi haridra haritaki ikshu indravaruni jimutaka kakadani karkotaka kumari katuki and trivrut etc etc but if a patient is with the halimaka condition then usually we will uh, prefer guduchi and uh, mustaka and if it is hello
So some network issues, so that's why uh, it was not possible. So routinely practice the compound formulations uh, like Suta Shekara Rasa, Agni Kumara Rasa, Sanjeevini Vati, Arogya Vardini Vati. So this is the last uh, uh, routinely practiced compounds are like Suta Shekara Rasa, Agni Kumara Rasa, Sanjeevini Vati, Arogya Vardini Rasa have been used widely in non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases. And if you see the Lokanatha Rasa, Siddha Makara Dosa are prescribed for the cirrhosis of liver. Our Vata Chintamani Rasa is used for the grade two, grade one, grade two and grade three hepatic encephalopathy. Then Ekrut Plihari Loha or Ichabedi Rasa or Plihantaka Rasa or Lokanatha Rasa, Plihari Rasa and many more are routinely practiced as a Aushadis in day-to-day -day, uh, practice. Then some of the uh, case studies. One thing uh, I have discussed is when we have seen the number of uh, research articles published on the uh, Ekrut Vikara. So first of all, Ekrut Vikara uh, is mentioned in the Samhitas and all, but the Rasoshidis were not mentioned in the Samhitas. And if you see the then Nighantukala, etc., etc., number of uh, herbal drugs were mentioned like Brangaraja, Katuki, uh, Bhunimba, Nimba, or Kalamega, Sharapunka, number of herbal medicines were prepared, were mentioned. And if you see the Rasoshidis, so today's uh, discussion, two to three, I am delivering on Rasoshidis. And after this, uh, herbal, uh, the Kastoshidis were mentioned, uh, were discussed, uh, seminar is on Kastoshidis is there. But if you see the uh, preparation, all these preparation like Arugya Vardhini Vati or any Rasoshidis, they will have the mercury, uh, Parada, Gandaka, Abraka, Tamra, etc. And number of formulations. Only difference is the Bhavana Dravya. So uh, when we come, when we see the research articles on those Bhavana Dravya, for example, Nimba or Brangaraja or Katuki, or uh, this uh, Bhumiyamalaki, or Sharapunka, etc., etc. They will have the property of either uh, liver hepatoprotective, etc., hepatoprotective activity. And when we will give the bhavana of those herbal drugs to the Rasoshidis, bhavana drugs, they will act on the liver. And the other minerals which we will use, they will act as a catalytic. So this is one uh, hypothesis. And if you see the some of the case studies, for example, a hepatoprotective evaluation of the Arogya Vardhini uh, Rasa Aginashdi, paracetamol induced liver damage in the albino rats. So one book is there by name uh, Turner's. The specialty of that uh, Turner book is uh, how to induce hepatotoxicity in the rats, the procedure mentioned, and what is the dose to be given in the animals that is mentioned, and how to analyze that. So that is a very good book. So one of the research article is the hepatotoprotective activity, the paracetamol induced liver damage. So always it's now after the COVID, everyone is, uh, the, it is made in the media that the national uh, medicine is uh, Dolo 650. So everyone is very much uh, taking the uh, paracetamol, but here is one case study based on the uh, damage by the, uh, this uh, paracetamol. So Tamra Bhasma, uh, one of the ingredient has been proven as the hepatoprotective and also beneficial in acrut pliha vruddhi, hepatosplin enlargement and in anti hyperlipidemic. And Abraka Bhasma and Loho Bhasma are proven therapeutic agents for hepatoprotective action in animal experiment. Picroja, Picroja Kuroa, that is a Kutaja, a major component of Arogya Vardhini Vati has uh, choleritic effect. Katuki has an effective role in the treatment of ekrut gata dosha, chronic hepatitis, and kumbakamala. Katuki is mentioned as pitta virechana, so uh, which is compared with the gallbladder, is a part of hepatobiliary system, deepana. 
Pachana and Jeevagna are among the major therapeutic actions of the Aroge Vardhini Vati. Another study shows that uh, methanol extract of plumbago jelenica karanja significantly lowered the level of a serum enzyme against liver damage by CC uh, L4 in albino uh, rats. And one more case study is that that is the management of gelodera ascites and acrid plehodera hepatosplenomegaly. The background of this uh, study is cirrhosis is the final phase of alcoholic uh, liver diseases, as we all know. Cardiac failure, tuberculosis, portal hypertension, cirrhosis of liver is the major causes of uh, aso uh, ascites associated with hepatosplenomegaly. Ascites uh, ascites is the accumulation of the free fluid in the uh, peritoneal cavity. Ayurveda emphasizes that all the diseases are the result of weak state of the Agni, that is uh, Sarvayapi Mandagno. So uh, improper functioning of Agni leads to various metabolic disorders. In Ayurveda, it can be compared with Jalodhara and Ekrutodhara. Due to Mandagni and uh, Malavruddhi, Udhara Roga occurs. So here is a case presentation of a patient who is with a 35 year old male patient. So he is suffering with, uh, uh, it is conducted in uh, NIA Jaipur, National Institute of Ayurveda Jaipur with the chief complaints of whole body swelling, edema, omitting, dizziness, fever, loss of appetite, enema, jaundice, weakness, and fullness of flank, et cetera, et cetera. The patient was uh, diagnosed as the ekrutodara. And then the research, uh, uh, so, sorry, the treatment was given. And the result obtained, the patient was uh, ad administered with uh, Snuhik Shira Virechana in the beginning. There he was administered a combination of Katuki, uh, Nishota, uh, Manduka and, uh, uh, and, and other uh, with the uh, Siddhartha. So after a few sittings, it was started. Uh, so, so first in the initial stage, some of the herbal uh, drugs were given. The concept behind, uh, the logic behind this is, when Agni is very low, uh, if you see the Ahara Samsarjana Krama in Panchakarma, so there one example is giving, if the Agni, if the fire is very low, we will put a small stick. By adding small, small sticks, when Agni is, when the fire is very high, then we will put the big sticks. In the way, in the same way, in this condition, initially Katuki, Deepana, Pachana, herbal drugs were started. When the patient getting, uh, its appetite improved, then the rasoshidis were given and the condition was improved. And uh, here a combination of, in number of liver disorders, combination of powder of Malla Sindhura in one Rati Pramana and Aroge Vardhini Vati, 500 milligram and Punarnava Mandura in 500 milligram, Evakshara, uh, 500 mg. Uh, about this Kshara, the, we have seen one patient. So actually he had all the, uh, uh, some of the symptoms of Pitta. And then he uh, consulted some of the Ayurvedic doctors. They have tried all the Pitta Shamaka treatment and then Virachana, et cetera. Even then uh, the LFT readings were the same, no change. Then uh, when he was started with the Yavakshara, then the condition improved. So before starting the Yavakshara, we have discussed why we have to start the Yavakshara in a patient whose LFT readings were uh, varying. The reason is uh, after taking the case history, we came to know that uh, he had the Pitta symptoms, but at the same time, Pitta is uh, Anubandhi with the Kapha. When we have given the Kshara, the Kshara helps in Vilayana of the Kapha. It is detached from the Pitta. Then uh, Pitta Anulomana happens. Then the patient gets rid of the uh, liver disorders. In the same way, we can give the Jalodharari Rasa in 250 mg or Shweta Parpati 500 mg. And then Arogya Vardhini and Punarnavadi Mandara, both are Ekrut Balya and Shotara. Have, since these two combinations have Mutrala property, so these wash out the impurities from blood through urine. Malla Sindhura reduces the infection and Yavakshara has Lekhana property. So that's why I have mentioned the patients who had Kapha Anubandhi, there usually we have to give the Kshara, it will... Uh, separates the kapha and pitta, then uh, helps in anuloman of the pitta. So there we will give the uh, yavakshara. So it opens the channels of the shvedavaha and uh, ambuvaha srotas. And then jalodharari rasa and shveta property both eliminates the excessive accumulated fluid through excessive loose mention and uh, 
excessive urination so likewise the, and if you see the maharashtra's famous uh, book gangadhar shastri's gune once i referred a patient to the sholapur doctor who is my close friend he started giving uh, mahalakshmi vilasa rasa in uh, ekrut vikara just i have discussed him who uh, where is the reference he told no no in gangadhar shastri gune because uh, rasa dhatu vikruti so when we will rectify the rasa dhatu it rectifies the rakta dhatu then uh, <coughs> helps in get rid of the uh, liver function very surprisingly when we have given the mahalakshmi vilasa rasa in that particular patients we have to uh, take the case history and in accordance with the case history then only we have to choose the drug and we have to uh, give in all the patient we cannot give the mahalakshmi vilasa rasa uh, in all the patients we cannot give the uh, aragyavartini vati and all we have to take a case history based on the symptoms and based on the uh etc so last uh, just last week we have attended one seminar uh, delivered by l mahadevan so he told uh, first we have to analyze the guna uh, you vata is there tatra ruksha lagu shita khara sukshma chalonila number of gunas are there in vata which uh, guna vridhi based on those guna we have to give the uh, uh, drug it is his opinion so likewise we have to take case case history is to be taken and based on those case history we have to uh, give the treatment and one more is the case study of the treating the kamla with uh, some medicine uh, oral ayurvedic drugs like arogyavardhini vati ananda bhairava rasa suta shekar rasa lavangadi vati bhunimbadi kwata katuki churna sariva churna musta churna uh, kushta churna gokshura churna and uh, narikela narikela masi treatment drugs were effective in the relieving the signs and symptoms of uh, kamla uh, in the with the kamla so here are the some of the successful ayurvedic management of uh, alcoholic uh, liver disease it's a case report so uh, when uh, when the talk topic was allotted to me uh, from uh, dr sri dattatre patel sir just i have seen the uh, number of cases are there liver disorders with alcoholic uh, history and some of the, in my college a number of patients were uh, when i have asked my panchakarma and kaya chikitsa people some of the case studies are there in my college those people are not uh, alcoholic dependent even then they have got uh, ekrut vikaras when we have taken the case history we came to know that they don't have alcoholic habit they don't have any drug taking habit they don't take a paracetamol and even then they have got very uh, high this uh, liver, uh, uh, readings then when we have taken a case history we came to know that they one of the patient is very in a high stressful uh, Uh, condition probably that the stress uh, affected on his metabolism and that lead to the liver disorder when we treated him with manasamitra vataka shirodhara etc etc when we controlled his stress with yoga shirodhara manasamitra vatakam saraswata rishtam with gold etc then very surprised then we started with some uh, uh, hepatoprotective like arogyavardhini vati etc very surprisingly uh, his his lft other sgot scpt and other readings uh, came to uh, normal so we cannot uh, so since the liver is the main metabolic uh, uh, function so we have to see the what is the condition why it happens so here is the some treatments adopted in the uh, liver disorders like uh, uh, it's uh, like uh, it's from 2019 uh, reports like uh, Uh, these are all the patent um, uh, here this uh, slide is uh, on the patent medicines so previous were on the classical these were uh, all on uh, like leaf 52 or a uh, uh, capsule cytogen or a syrup hemocosid or a syrup leaf 50 etc etc from which date to which date we have given and uh, all those this uh, case study looking to the response of the present case and also similar other cases ayurvedic uh, uh, systematic cla- uh, systematic classical medicines helps to manage the acute symptoms will be more productive in terms of better management and uh, prognosis of cld and uh, eld critic on uh, jalodharari rasa um, uh, one of the study on the jalodharari rasa it's a herbomental uh, preparation that is uh, depicted in bhaisajya ratnavali udara rogadikarana its content is like jayapala tamra basma etc etc so single case study of management of jalodhara like ascites so it is in 2013 so we have taken it very because of the its particularity that what are the medicines we have given 
from which date to which date what is the dose and which we have and in which anupana it has been given and what is the time it is is it because of once in a day twice in a day thrice in a day what is the this is a case study from 2013 arogya vardhini maintains the liver function and promotes balance as well as a healthy digestive system it main content is the uh, katuki which uh, act as a pitta virochana and act on the akrat punarnavadi mandura is indicated in the treatment of ujara roga and it also reduces the shota mandura is also indicated in uh, anemia adima and uh, bronchial asthma which significantly uh, improves the uh, pandu sir this is the we have taken this uh, research article because uh, when we we have seen in depth uh, only rasoshidis will not act only castoshidis will not act blend of both the castoshidis and rasoshidis sometimes uh, if you see if you see all the Uh, rasoshadi preparations arogya vardhini vati malla sindura suta shekara rasa or any hepatoprotective combinations all the combinations will have parada gandaka abraka tamra loha etc etc same combinations but there the bhavana dravyas changes and when we have seen the research article on those bhavana dravyas which were used to prepare uh, on the ekrut vikara so those were in some of the ekrut uh, vikara we use the rasoshidis wherein guduchi is bhavana dravya and in some people is bhavana dravya in some punarnava is bhavana dravya and in most of the drugs kalamega is bhavana dravya and bhumyamalaki is bhavana dravya brangaraja is bhavana dravya sharapunka is bhavana dravya so since these are the bhavana dravyas i have taken uh, this slide uh, so when we will see the Uh, activity or therapeutic activity or the indication of these drugs uh, they will have uh, a very good uh, this hepatoprotectivity and some of the research article says these bhavana drugs will act on the liver and the rasoshidis used will act on both side as a catalytic as well as to uh, eradicate the uh, diseases so i have given the link also to the detailed uh, those who are interested they can avail the details from the Uh, details from those herbal drugs also like guduchi uh, pippali uh, kalamega bhumyamalaki daru haridra katuki uh, rohitaka uh, brangaraja and uh, uh, shara sharapunka so there one logic uh, is also given for example ek gaon hai to wo gaon ke liye ek bahar ka aadmi aata hai to ek localite aadmi agar unke sath jud jata hai तब क्या होता है वो आदमी अपना टारगेट प्लेस को इमीडिएट पहुंचता है इन द सेम वे व्हेन वी विल यूज द हर्बो मिनरल कॉम्बिनेशन सो मीन हर्बल रिसेप्टर्स एंड मिनरल कॉम्बिनेशन दे विल कम्बाइंडली एक्ट वेरी फास्टली टू इरेडिकेट द डिसीज सो देन इफ यू सी द डिस्कशन एकृत इज मैंशन इन कोस्टांग and it is also mentioned as moola of raktava and its position in dakshina parshva as mentioned in ayurvedic classics various ekrut vikaras are mentioned in ayurvedic classics like ekrutodara kamala kumbhaka halimaka etc all of them are interrelated and can be correlated with hepatomegaly ascites jaundice etc in contemporary sciences various biological physical and chemical agents act as hepatotoxins and produces liver diseases hepatotoxins act mainly due to inducing lipid per oxidative damage forming free oxygen radicals increasing apoptosis and reducing glutathione in liver hepatoprotective drugs and rasa aushadis like arogya vardhini vati punarnavadi mandora etc etc which prevent the liver diseases along with rasoshadi which are herbo mineral in formation are endowed with hepatoprotective claims either directly or indirectly so when we will give the rasoshadis bhavana dravyas and anupana both will have their role when i am practicing in bangalore uh, one of uh, my senior uh, so he used to advise you take tender coconut water after heating so you heat the tender coconut water and you take uh, with arogya vardhini vati in uh, liver disorders 
so his logic is uh, tender coconut water will have a uh, large quantity of uh, mineral content and to absorb the mineral content a small uh, heat is required hum chawal direct nahi le sakte use pani dal ke ubal ke lena wo unka kuch he had some his uh, own logic along so that's why uh, in herb in rasoshidis the bhavana dravyas anupanas and rasoshidis all these uh, triangle they will help in eradicating the liver disorders ekruti is the uh, mula of rakta vasrotas ek rakta and pitta has a ashraya ashrayi relationship so mostly ekrut vikasara vikaras are occurred due to vishesan of the uh, pitta most of the drugs mentioned for ekrut vikara having pitta shamaka action either due to tikta kashaya rasa or madhura vipaka or shita vipaka the rasoshidis which contain rohitaka and sharapanka has plehagna prabhava or beneficial in the uh, liver diseases the deepana and virechaka drugs used for the management of chronic liver diseases can regulate and strengthen the liver and the gastrointestinal system the regulation of a gastrointestinal system may improve the general well being of the patients and the improvement of the constipation may prevent the absorption of harmful substances and indirectly decreases the uh, ascites so gastrointestinal tract so when i have study uh, mentioned one patient uh, with uh, variation in the uh, lft readings so he had a severe stress so because of that uh, and one more patient with irregular food habits so when we have rectified his uh, food habits when we reduce the stress the metab and when we brought by that when we brought the metabolic metabolic activity normal the readings uh, or he get rid of the uh, liver disorders and the lastly just i would like to conclude uh, ekrut is a major vital organ having a uh, different important function and prone to various type of disorders due to various biological physical chemical and genetic factors ekrut vikara is a group of diseases related with the liver the rasoshidis used for ekrut vikara are basically pitta shamaka pitta samshodaka in nature rasoshadis described in classics are established as hepatoprotective anti hepatotoxic and hepatotropic by various experimental and clinical studies they mainly produce hepatoprotective action by antioxidant properties as well as increasing glucathion reducing lipid pero peroxidation and inhibiting cytochrome p450 rasoshadi having pitta rechaka and ekrutodojaka drugs are effectively by their cholesterolic activity so if you see the uh, role of rasoshadis in ekrut vikara in samhita ekrut mentioned and different disorders were mentioned uh, if you see the chronological order then in nagarjuna he mentioned number of rasoshadis so rasoshadis with bhavana dravya with anupana and uh, with uh, proper diagnosis uh, then the rasoshadis uh, will act if you see the today's uh, scenario so 6.7 million people died because of the ncds and already i have told from 29 to 31 uh, years this is in incremental stage and then after 35 this is in uh, taking a quantum leap so it is the need of the award and we have got a very high scope in the uh, liver disorders we have to encase encase it and uh, i would like to thank dhanvantari ayurvedic medical college uh, principal and other staff for uh, uh, inviting me uh, and allowing me to say a few uh, opinions on this topic thank you very much thank you honorable alam prabhu sir for your excellent knowledgeable impressive and very useful for student as well as ayurved practitioner thank you sir once again now i request co chairman of this session dr engole sir honorable engole sir for his expert opinion hello good afternoon hello yes sir you are audible good afternoon first of all i congratulate dr alam prabhu sir 
for delivering a very nice and informative lecture on the liver disorder the role of rasaushadi in in uh, in liver disorder sir nicely described the, the importance of rasaushadi uh, which are the main part of our shastra many people are very uh, not dear to give the rasaushadi and mainly in liver disorders sir i have you very uh, very knowledgeable and very informative uh, lecture to us uh, there are many uh, facts uh, sir uh, sir mentioned uh, first of all anatomy and physiology according to modern and ayurveda of liver uh, then uh, sir described very uh, functions of the of the liver according to according to the, uh, ayurveda and modern science the beauty of ayurveda and rasa shastra the drugs are different in different conditions of disease this is our main uh, beauty sir sir nicely uh, mentioned the drugs the rasa aushadis according to the condition of liver disorder so i only uh, one add one thing that is the before we give the rasa aushadi to any patient uh, we do the kshetrikaran is very important uh, the kshetrikaran uh, that is a panchakarma of body purification of body according to rasa shastra uh, five uh, panchakarma that is pachan snehan svedan woman and virachan are described by rasendra chintamani and ayurved prakash if you uh, do this five things before start the rasaushadi uh, that is the pachan with agnivardhak uh, the many agnivardhak dravyas uh, then after uh, the the snehan by ghrutapan and uh, and uh, the svedan bhaspa sved agni sved and after that woman and virachan and after that you give to uh, the rasa aushadi to any patient not only in liver disease the result must be good so i congratulates uh, dr alam prabhu sir and i thankful to dr dattatre patil sir the principal of ayurved college and my uh, my senior dr kattewar sir who is the hod of our shastra department and his team thank you very much thank you dr honorable angle sir for your good suggestion and very impressive uh, opinion thank you once again now i request honorable dr veena kanti ma'am to conclude the session namaste good afternoon everyone am i audible yes madam you yes, are audible ha good good afternoon everyone first i congratulate the organizers and the principal dr dattatre patil dhanvantari ayurved medical college udgir for conducting the national webinar on ayurvedic management of the liver disorders as it a important topic nowadays because many patients are emerging from the liver disorders due to maybe a high antibiotic or any other side effects of medicines etc but number of the liver disorder patients are increasing so this is a important topic they have selected i congratulate the organizers for selecting the topic and uh, now uh, i am very thankful for uh, inviting me as a chairperson for this uh, webinar so i thank i thanking the dattatre patil sir and balaji kattewa dr mangesh dr deepika and dr shivakar for inviting me for this webinar and now about the topic uh, alam prabhu gudda the principal of uh, ingulambika ayurved college gulbarga the role of rasaushadis in management of liver disorders really he had given a justice to that topic because he had started the topic with liver its functions and disorders 
like that after disorders what are the medicines should be given and what is the mechanism of the uh, function of that medicine he had elaborated in very well manner and uh, what are the researches conducted on this topic he had given the introduction of that researches also so very good presentation by alam prabhu and one more thing alam prabhu you had done within the time only so time is completed <laughs> within 3 o'clock yeah. you have completed i yeah, i am yeah. appreciable for that time also and yeah. thank you very much for uh, this lecture and your presentation and the slides are very nice nice presentation thank you once again the organizing committee for inviting me and one more uh, one more thing i want to add that alam prabhu gurda he was my student in pg and uh, he was a very sincere and uh, uh, nice lovely uh, student of my uh, pg uh, uh, this uh, department that days so i hope you will do very good in the future also all the best for your future life thank you thank you one and all thank you madam thank you thank you madam you have concluded nicely this session now i request uh, dr varnay sir for next session hello it is good afternoon all of you myself dr guru rajesh varnale assistant professor department of rasya shastra and bcj kalpana behalf on the dhanvantri ayurvedic medical college udgir so before starting the second section let me introduce to our uh, <coughs> today's uh, speaker and uh, chairman co chairman so as a speaker we have received dr raman shankar belge sir professor hod pg and phd guide department of rasya shastra and bcj kalpana shri ayurved mahavidyalaya nagpur uh, sir have completed sir qualification of dr raman sir qualification is md phd in uh, rasya shastra and bk also completed ma in sanskrit and, <coughs> and mba sir have published around 30 research papers and articles national and international level uh, sir received a best teacher award sri ayurved mahavidyalaya nagpur at 2017 and uh, sir received a khadiwali vaidya rasa ushidi puraskar in 2019 best articles of the year ayurved patrika nashik in 2003 i just uh, speaker sir has delivered many lectures uh, research methodology workshop at nagpur in 2017 chrono pharmacology uh, recognition and application at mahatma gandhi ayurved college varda at uh, in 2013 also sir uh, sir major areas of interest are searching innovation ways to prepare rasa ushadi in ayurvedic formulations consultation to pharmaceutical companies searching manuscripts related uh, gandha shastras also published a book in gandha shastras so today speaker dr raman selge sir uh, and now uh, i will introduce our uh, chairman of this session I, as a chairman we have received dr morbale mangal sunil ma'am principal sant gajanan maharaj ayurvedic medical college mahagao uh, gadahingaj uh, ma'am have completed rasa shastra uh, ma'am have completed md in rasa shastra under the maharashtra university health science nashik uh, published around 10 uh, uh, research papers and articles around uh, four to five national journals and 2 to 3 international journals and 3 uh, to 4 paper presentations ma'am uh, partic- uh, participated in state and national international conferences and also activated <coughs> uh, uh, professional activities of uh, involvement in uh, as a pg and ug examiner at uh, maharashtra university health sciences nashik also as a pg examiner at rajiv gandhi university health science bangalore karnataka delivered public lectures regarding the regarding the awareness of health women health and environmental awareness organized various workshops and seminars research work done at uh, on the tamra basma so now i will introduce our co chairman of this session 
टुडे वी हैव रिसीव्ड एज अ को चेयरमैन डॉक्टर दिनेश डी केलगावकर सर एच ओ डी एन प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रसशास्त्र एंड भैसेजे कल्पना वसंतदादा पाटिल आयुर्वेदिक मेडिकल कॉलेज सांगली सर हैव कंप्लीटेड एम डी इन एम डी पी एच डी इन रसशास्त्र अंडर द एम यू एच एस नाशिक महाराष्ट्र ही हैविंग अराउंड फिफ्टीन इयर्स टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस पब्लिश्ड अराउंड टेन रिसर्च पेपर आर्टिकल्स नैशनल एंड इंटरनैशनल लेवल पार्टिसिपेटेड इन स्टेट नैशनल एंड इंटरनैशनल कॉन्फ्रेंसेस प्रोफेसनल एक्टिविटीज ऑफ इन्वॉल्वमेंट सर वर्क राइज अ सेंटर ऑब्जर्वर सेंटर इंचार्ज हेड कल्चरल डिपार्टमेंट सिंस टू थाउजेंड सेवेन सो नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर डॉक्टर रमन शंकर बेलगे सर टू स्टार्ट द सेकेंड सेशन थैंक यू so should i share screen yes sir so uh, uh, is the screen visible to all uh no sir no just a minute we are not getting your voice sir just a minute sir so share screen so i hope the screen can be uh, yes sir visible okay visible and uh, audible yes sir okay so nice sir so uh, let me start thanking my uh, colleagues and uh, dr dattatre patil sir uh, honorable principal dhanvantri ayurved medical college udgir and uh, for inviting me for the session and uh, then the next thank uh, thanks giving should be to dr alam prabhu sir he has made my works very simple so actually he has uh, done half of my work so actually i am professor of rashastra and bhashya jagalpana even then rasaushadi uh, is not just 50% when uh, i go for practice that is around 70% so anyway uh, alam prabhu sir has done 70% of my work and uh, i hope uh, all my colleagues uh, like uh, kanthi ma'am is there डॉक्टर मुरबर मैम इंगोले सर कट्टेवा सर डॉक्टर दिनेश केड़गावकर सर डॉक्टर वर्नाल सर एंड ऑल दोज ऑनलाइन पार्टिसिपेंट्स वी हैव रिसेंटली विटनेस्ड अ वेरी नॉलेजेबल सेशन सो द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द सेशन वुड बी रोल ऑफ हर्बल मेडिसिन इन मैनेजमेंट ऑफ लिवर डिसऑर्डर्स सो शुड बी मूव वी वुड बी डिस्कसिंग हाँ वी वुड बी डिस्कसिंग द एस्पेक्ट्स विच Uh, like uh, critical study then uh, the pharmaceutical aspect would be there analytical aspect experimental one analytical one and some research insight i will try to skip those points which have already recently been described by uh, dr alam professor so here are the strotas with special reference to liver disorders we all know yatra sangha khavai gunya vyadhi rakta ho strotas as we know मूलस्थान इज यकृत प्लिन्ह रक्तवाहिनी धम्य सो वेन वी हैव टू ट्रीट रक्त दुष्टि लक्षण दैट हैज टू बी फोकस्ड बेसिकली फोकस्ड एट यकृत लिह और रक्तवाहि धम्य सिंस टूडेज टॉपिक इज रिगार्डिंग लिवर डिसऑर्डर्स सो आई विल कीप फोकस विथ यकृत दिस Uh, we can see uh, right from prana prana ho srotas to uh, the stanya ho srotas almost 16 srotas are described by various uh, ancient uh, texts so the functions mulasthan marg and mukha of the srotas have been described the channels of circulation we know a srotas has a srotomul a srotomarg and a srotomukh so the basically after getting this concept of stroto mukh stroto marg stroto mul we would be able to uh, focus on the route of treatment and the target so our treatment would be a targeted treatment and that will take care of the pathology the pathological aspect uh, we know ati pravrutti sangova sirana granth yo piva vimarg gamnam chapi stroto sam dushti lakshanam so on this a uh, four srotal lakshanas they can very well be seen in various types of liver disorders 
So if it is ati pravrutti, we can uh, have various symptoms. If it is sangha, then we can uh, go with that uh, ruddha pathakamla, then siragranthi, then vimarga gaman, and all the symptoms related to pandu and kamla, they will definitely fit into this shloka of ati pravrutti, sangha, siragranthi, or vimarga gaman. The concept of liver in Ayurveda. Uh, sir has already, Alam Professor has already mentioned this concept. So what happens? The vital functions of liver uh, yakrut, that is rasaranjana and chaya pachay of ahara ras. We know chaya pachay, that is metabolism, that is the basic function, uh, one of the basic functions performed by yakrut. So uh, as uh, already stated by sir, out of the six functions, chaya pachay is the basic function performed by yakrut. And actually liver religious, what happens? Uh, Various synonyms are there. It could be Jyotisthan, it could be Agnisthan. The problem is why we have got all these synonyms. So liver releases the stored energy at times of high demand and replenishes energy stores during the nutrient excess associated with meal. So when uh, that is ATP, adenosine triphosphate, that uh, mechanism takes place inside liver, then we are able to have the energy levels at the higher side. So, the organ that releases energy is called as Agnisthan or Jyotisthan. And a treatment must, must be focused at maintaining this Jyoti and this Agni so that we will have a proper metabolism. Causes of Raktava Sroka Dushti. We all know this shloka Vidahini Anapanani, Stignoshani, Dravani, Raktavaini Dushti, Vajatamja, Atapanani. Why uh, uh, do we need to understand this, uh, these causes? So being Rashashasri, uh, we all are uh, Rashashri people. So we uh, must know while preparing, while prescribing any medicine, while formulating any medicine, it must take care of all these factors. So we need to uh, balance, we need to stabilize the uh, disturbed uh, dosha dusha samurchana. And that's why uh, one side will be regarding the ahar, the other will be vihar and while formulating also, we need to take care of all these uh, formulations that will take care of this Snigdha, Ushna and Dravaguna. These are the clinical features of Raktava Sruta As I had already said, uh, Yakrut, uh, that is a Mulasan of Raktava Srutas. So uh, here in second line, Nilika Kamala Vengaha. I will keep uh, my focus on, especially on Pandu and Kamala. Uh, so that we can have uh, various uh, points uh, that can be discussed. So uh, this is regarding Kushtha, Visarpa, Pidaka, Raktapitta, Raktapitta, uh, then Asrugdar, Budapak, Medhrapak, Asyapak, Liha, Gulma, Vidradhi, Nilika, Kamala, Venga, Pippal, Pippalva, Tilakalaka, Chan, uh, Dadru, Charmadal, Shvitra, Pama, Kushtha and Astramandalam. These are produced due to Rakta Pradosh. So we have to take care of Rakta Dushti and uh, that has to be focused at Yakrut. These are the Rakta Vastrutas uh, where Yakrut or Pliha or both the organs are involved. So right from Pandu to Astra Mandalam, we have just discussed the points. Liver. It's an engine of the body. So now we all know engine, uh, most important part of any, any vehicle. So vehicle could be, an, uh, uh, it could be a car or it could be a body. So liver and engine of the body, uh, liver and its important role is in digesting, metabolizing and manufacturing essential compounds for keeping the body healthy. Metabolism, like carbohydrate metabolism, lipid metabolism, that basically takes place inside liver. Manufactures and excretes bile, manufactures the proteins like albumin, fibrinogen, prothrombin, processing and detoxification of drugs like uh, penicillin, erythromycin, sulfonamide into bile, storage of vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin B12, then iron, detoxification of toxic substances like alcohol and drugs. Other than this, phagocytosis and some hemolytic functions, they do take place inside liver. So as I had already discussed, liver, a basic uh, site 
where metabolism takes place. So if any of these liver functions get disturbed, that is bound to induce some or the other vaccines. Liver disease to viral infections. We all know viral hepatitis, it could be vitamin, uh, hepatitis A, C, D, E, G, or vitamin, hepatitis B. Fatty liver disease due to alcohol or non-alcoholic. So alcoholic fatty liver disease or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Both these types, they do uh, uh, liver damage leading to cirrhosis and lastly to liver failure. Some autoimmune conditions, some genetic conditions, some uh, drug induced liver diseases, liver failure and liver cancer. These are certain liver diseases we need to focus. These diagrams will uh, help you uh, clear the concept of normal healthy liver to the cirrhotic liver. So uh, as can be seen, healthy hepatocytes can be seen in the first image. Uh, that color indicates health of liver hepatocytes. The fatty liver where excess fat builds up in the liver that, uh, can, uh, that can be visualized. Fibrosis, here connective tissue, those white uh, connective tissues, they are replacing the normal tissue. And lastly, formation of nodular texture surrounded by fibrosis. So from healthy liver to fatty liver, then to fibrosis and then to cirrhosis. So once cirrhosis uh, stages attained, uh, irreversible damage takes place inside liver. These are some of the Yakrut Vikar. So here basically we can classify them as Yakrut Pruthi, that is hepatomegaly, or Yakrut Akshay, that is cirrhosis. These are certain Rasabhas Rotojanya Vyadhi or say Yakrut Dehajanya Vyadhi. So uh, to uh, make it simple, I have uh, uh, named this diseases in their modern terms and uh, simply either liver mass increase or liver mass decrease. So, if it is hepatitis, if it is uh, say infective hepatitis, alcoholic hepatitis, drug induced hepatitis, autoimmune hepatitis, all, uh, in all these conditions, the liver size will be increased. With fatty liver, again, size will be increased. Then primary hepatocell carcinoma or secondary hepatocell carcinoma, here again, the liver size will be increased. With cystic fibrosis of liver, slight uh, increase in liver size has been seen, but with alcoholic and non-alcoholic cirrhosis, the liver mass will get decreased. So that was with some modern aspect. Now let us move to our Ayurvedic part. So treatment principles of Raktavas Rotas. Sir has already uh, mentioned few uh, treatment guidelines uh, from various ancient texts. So that is very simple, Virechan, Langhan, Raktas Travan and Rasaushadi Seram. So Rasaushadi or Kashtaushadi. The drugs for uh, use for virechan, we know uh, where virechan should be done, it will be discussed at, uh, in later slides. So various drugs are there like uh, Shama, Tribrot, we all know these drugs. The drugs used in Langhana are uh, like Alaghu, Ushna, Tiksha, Tikshna, Ruksha, Kathin, Shushka. The other drugs which verify the blood and uh, are hemostatic nature, so uh, they could be right from Manjishtha, Haritra, Sariva, Neem, Chandan, Ushir. Durva and Loth. Again, related to liver disorders, adverse drug reactions. So basically, we all know that liver is a basic site for metabolism. And since all those drugs are metabolized inside liver, so if liver faces any adverse drug, uh, so it will be metabolized. And if it is not properly metabolized, the liver will get damaged, ultimately leading to some or the other liver disorders. So we know adverse drug reaction as an appreciably harmful or unpleasant reaction resulting from an intervention related to the use of a medicinal product which predicts hazard from future administration and warrants prevention or specific treatment or alteration of the doses regime or withdrawal of the product. We all know various ADR uh, we used to report in that pharmacovigilance sale. So this ADR adverse drug reactions are classified into dose related, non-dose related, dose related, time related, then purely time related, withdrawal and failure of the therapy. So when uh, especially uh, if it is with modern treatment, all these six factors would be there, could be there. If it is with 
ayurvedic treatment then it could be with uh, uh, dose related so many times uh, we have seen patients even with ayurvedic treatment where uh, some adr have been uh, noted with uh, reference to the liver disorders this reactions can affect various organs like uh, liver spleen muscle and heart the factors affecting drug induced hepatic toxicity uh, all these factors are age sex genetic background lifestyle obesity nutrition status dose duration disease like jaundice tb and liver cirrhosis in later slide we would be discussing some uh, studies where uh, we have uh, prescribed our ayurvedic medicine and uh, with some anti tubercular therapy so that will be discussed later slide now drug induced liver injury the drug induced hepatotoxicity is the most frequent cause of acute liver failure induced by overdose and chronic consumption of various medications as liver is responsible for concentrating and metabolizing a majority of medications it's a prime target for medication induced damage here medicines means it could be allopathic medicine it could be ayurvedic medicine or it could be any medicine so if it is not properly metabolized that is bound to uh, offer some or the other liver injury a broad range of different pharmacological agents can induce liver damage including anesthetics anti cancer drugs antibiotics anti tuberculosis agents anti retrovirals and cardiac medications in addition a plethora of traditional medical therapies and herbal remedies may also be hepatotoxic depending on the duration of injury and histological location of damage drug induced liver injury is categorized as acute or chronic and either as hepatitis cholestatic or a mixed pattern of injury all drug induced liver injuries lead to permanent liver damage and cirrhosis these are some drugs which are widely prescribed by the modern practitioners and uh, they are known hepatotoxic some are intentionally uh, some are uh, prescribed or some drugs are uh, over the counter uh, drugs like uh, that anabolic steroids they are generally prescribed by uh, the gym trainers these are the other modern drugs resulting into liver injury as sir has already stated during covid times it was uh, the drug paracetamol with a particular brand and that was taken i have seen patients uh, consuming paracetamol uh, i remember it was uh, the black market of uh, paracetamol when the drug was uh, banned from the over the counter sale even then the people used to stock and used to consume paracetamol for not less than 2 years so all those patients if they are they couldn't metabolize so they must be landing in some of the other liver disorders the other part that is heavy metal induced liver diseases so uh, this is uh, more or less related to rasa shastra medicines if the medicines are not properly processed if the medicines have been taken without uh, uh, the guidance of a registered medical practitioner so they are uh, likely to induce heavy metal toxicity the heavy metals such as iron copper mercury tin lead zinc cadmium chromium they are directly toxic to cells and demonstrate hepatotoxicity lead is another heavy metal that causes liver damage its persistence causes prolonged occurrence in the environment water soil dust and in manufactured products containing lead and lead damages cellular components to have elevated levels of oxidative stress while i was studying the topic uh, lead now uh, actually lead toxicity uh, more or less uh, that is unavoidable because the water that we get from uh, our corporation that is transported that is uh, flown uh, through lead pipes then uh, all those uh, paints so uh, except few leading brands uh, all those paints they do contain lead and this may uh, lead to a uh, heavy metal toxicity acute and chronic cadmium exposure causes hepatocyte swelling and massive necrosis as a result of elevation in enzymatic biomarkers similarly accumulation of various heavy metals including mercury causes liver disorders and varied symptoms including permanent damage to hepatocytes rise in creatine levels and so on uh, i remember one of my students who was studying at uh, 
uh, national institute and uh, he used to perform various various practicals including to people who assigned and then he landed up in, uh, in actually in icu and that uh, he was there for a month in icu so uh, he was saved by god's grace and uh, he's doing well again he's practicing the social the basic cause behind uh, his ill health was the fumes which were ingested during kopipatwa uh, rasayan nirmit so this was uh, unavoidable or sometimes if it is avoidable uh, that is uh, that could be due to negligence the process of detoxification and elimination so this is a diagrammatic representation toxins enter the body through lungs skin or intestine they are metabolized in the liver and then if properly metabolized the toxins they exit through the roots like skin kidneys colon and lungs so if excess toxins uh, they get stored into the fat cells bone marrow liver and cns then uh, in joints blood tissues and muscles uh, here are some uh, side effects and signs of toxicity the uh, basic uh, why i'm uh, showing this slide to all of you that we must know how the toxins enter our body and how it can be excreted so if it is through skin uh, if the uh, exit route can be through skin kidneys colon or lungs then my treatment can focus at the virechad dravya like uh, the colon route the mutral dravya that kidney route then the uh, lungs can be uh, one of the routes similarly skin can be a route for the process of detoxification and elimination then here is ayurved and chelation therapy one of my favorite topics uh, basically we are dealing with heavy metals everybody is blaming us for heavy metals that heavy metals lead to uh, liver toxicity so it's not the case we are there with chelation therapy chelation it's a process of removal of heavy metal ions accumulated in soft tissues by chelating agents so i do the chelating agents for heavy metal toxicity for liver disorders here some are uh, some herbs i have collected like uh, garlic it's effective in uh, reducing blood and tissue lead concentrations it decreases methyl mercury toxicity by causing the formation of sulfur uh, that inhibit adverse reactions kutki um, it's a well known product for uh, liver disorders so basically kutki is an iron chelator it removes excess iron from the blood similarly the uh, uh, drugs like haridra dhanya kankan manjishtha these are effective against heavy metal toxicity treatment of liver disorders with rasaushadhi and kashthaushadhi with the, these ayurvedic chelators as anupan or sahapan or bhavana dravya is a new paradigm in pharmaceutical science so being rashastri if i wish to uh, develop a product for say uh, such liver disorders then i must focus not just on uh, kutki but it could be haridra it could be dhanya kankan manjishtha or any any bhavana dravya that can act as a chelating agent these are some of the antidotes so while uh, studying for all the chelating agents uh, we could find that all the shodhana dravya all those marana dravya all those bhavana uh, dravya so the uh, all these dravyas they act uh, in some of the other way as a chelating agent or chelator we call them antidote so it could be for rasa it could be gandhak and that list uh, uh, continues up to makshik so all this for makshik it is kulathakvat that means kulathakvat acts as a chelating agent for makshik so the uh, basic aim for uh, uh, that slide uh, presentation was to know that if i find a patient suffering from liver disorder first thing i should go for the cause if it is rasaushadhi if it is on uh, say uh, many times people blame us uh, that ayurvedic practitioners that you have uh, done a mistake you had induced uh, that heavy metal toxicity so we are responsible or not that doesn't matter what matters if it is due to uh, say mercury then can we have some ayurvedic chelating agents so these are chelating agents for polyherbal poisons induced toxicity uh, we know for vatsanab it's tankan dhrita 
for ahifen that is our drug and the list continues up to vishatindu and for vishatindu that we offer that is go grutha so all these references if we go through uh, those uh, articles we can find at least 100 is articles for a particular drug that acts as a chelating agent now some of the herbal phytoconstituents against liver disorders we know the uh, a famous brand liv 52 we know all those uh, arogya vardhini and all those products so what matters it's not a company product that matters for me or for us how it acts an individual drug how it acts that matters so if it is kiratatikta that is antrographis paniculata it repairs the hepatic injury and restores the cellular permeability it reduces the toxic effect of ethanol induced liver toxicity and it has been reported to be efficacious in chronic hepatitis b viral infection these are the uh, excerpts from uh, some research articles where kiratatikta uh, was studied then curcuma longa that is haridra it attenuates liver injury induced by ethanol thiacetamine iron overdose and all those reactions where we can find that curcuma longa can take care of liver disorders similarly eclipta alba bringaras extract was studied on paracetamol induced hepatic damage in mice so uh, in my previous lecture uh, sir has uh, stated uh, that sudh shekhar so sudh shekhar acts no problem but bringaras is the uh, drug that takes care of the direction where sudh shekhar can uh, definitely cure the hepatic damage so it was due to bringaras similarly glycerisa glabra uh, i always say that yashti madhu is an underestimated drug we all know uh, out of uh, those uh, nine months in masanumas yashti madhu has been uh, described in at least four months so right from anc pnc to all those uh, sukumar bal uh, garbhini prasutta and all those uh, age groups yashti madhu has widely been prescribed and the drug which has been prescribed in almost every every uh, way so right from taila to avleha to pak uh, to vatti gutti everywhere we can find glycerisa glabra that is yashti madhu it plays an important role in arresting production of inflammatory cytokine and protects liver it also reduces the hepatotoxicity so cytokine storm can very well be controlled with uh, this yashti madhu kutki it's effective in preventing liver toxicity and improves hepatic glycogen preservation it's effective in hepatitis b infection and promising effect on bilirubin scot scpt levels it also promotes liver regenerating activities by restoring cytochrome guduchi everybody knows guduchi um, we always had a uh, black market during covid times so guduchi was not available even in market so guduchi ghanavati the company which offers guduchi ghanavati in maharashtra so they always say that it's not available it will be made available in 15 days in a month or in two months but guduchi was widely prescribed during covid times and uh, this plant prevented fibrous changes and promoted regeneration of parenchyma tissue its membrane stabilizing effect and modulation of kufer cell activities uh, are well studied chiraita swarsha chiraita used for hepatitis malaria hepatotoxic disorders hepatitis fatty liver hepatocellular carcinoma the crude and purified extract significantly inhibited cell proliferation and tissue apoptosis then uh, this uh, recent research is on herbo metallic and herbal preparations so um, actually i should not go with arogya vardhini but since it's a vatti i will uh, say it's a rasaushadhi and kashtaushadhi so arogya vardhini is the highest prescribing medicine in liver disorders those uh, herbal prep those hepatic preparations available in market they are arogya vardhini vatti minus bhasma and all this uh, syrups or say broth preparations they are derived from arogya vardhini and they are protective against uh, carbon tetrachloride induced hepatotoxicity in rats 
it has proven antioxidant properties arogya varshni batti along with juice of bhumia milky and trifala play an important role in clearing the hpsig and normalize liver transaminases in hepatitis b infected patients within 45 days so and it has therapeutic utilities in non alcoholic liver disorders also so we know that arogya varshni batti it plays an important role in controlling any any liver disorder palatrikadik path and lokanath ras rudra ras they are still in practice in non alcoholic fatty liver disease viral hepatitis and hepatocellular carcinoma amalke thit amalke again one of the widely prescribed drugs for uh, the hepatic preparations it's administered to chronic liver diseases a patient with good appetite should be given and it has a known hepatoprotective property yograj gukul and varunadi kashay these are the best medication for solitary polyethylesis or as dyslipidemia is a major responsible factor these are certain ayurvedic drugs and their uh, mode of action and some of the kalpas so i have collected uh, a few ayurvedic drugs with their suggestive action kutki it's a digestive enzyme and it has known anti inflammatory action bhumia malki it ignites digestive fire and uh, it protects liver kalamik it's uh, basically a detoxifier and balances liver enzyme guduchi anti inflammatory antioxidant immunomodulatory and increases cell turnover so we are in tier of uh, liver cells that uh, care has very well been taken by guduchi trifala fatty liver diseases in high blood cholesterol anti inflammatory and anti oxidant so trifala and trichotu basically we use for at trifala trichotu in almost 50% of our uh, ayurvedic preparations and they are known bio availability enhancers pitta papda detoxifying agent and regenerates liver cell ginger digestive stimulant high blood cholesterol and detoxifying agent punarnava useful in ascites and in hepatomegaly so when we find inflammation in hepatic cells so wherever there is inflammation we used to find uh, some fluid congestion and in all those cases punarnava helps us get reduce of that extra cellular fluid and uh, the well known that is punarnava ashtak kadha or uh, say punarnava sam that is prescribed in all these conditions in splenomegaly and uh, manuka that is draksha as an antioxidant and anti inflammatory activity and musta that is detoxifying agent antioxidant and anti inflammatory so these were a uh, few herbs with known mode of action and that action was with reference to the hepatic disorders i have uh, compiled here few rasaushadis few aswarishta uh rasoshadi sir has already uh, described the right from punarama mandur chandrakala ras rasmanikya i will describe rasmanikya uh, in later slides then panchtikta dugdul chintamani ras raktapit tantak loh and all those yakrut preparations some aswarishta like draksha sa lodha sa punarnava sa doitaka sa ushira sa some avleh like uh, dadi mavleh draksha avleh kutjaavleh shatavri gul vasavleh पाच लाईक पटोलादी मंजिष्ठादी फलत्रिकादी वासवृचादी तैल अदुकरादी बला धात्र्यादी गंधर्व हस्तादी महाचंदनादी घृत लाईक दाडीमादी महातिक्त धानवंत धात्र्यादी सुकुमार्ग अणकुटिका लाईक एलादी मंडूर वटक सारीवादी वटी शुलवजन वटी दिस लिस्ट इज एंडलेस ॲक्च्युली वी नीड टू फोकस ऑन द इनग्रेडियंट्स देन द ॲक्शन ऑफ इनग्रेडियंट्स देअर फार्मकॅनेटिक्स फार्मोडायनामिक्स on the liver cells then how it acts and how it gets uh, excreted from the body so if we focus on the pharmacokinetics pharmodynamics it will be very easy if i don't know any path no problem i will have uh, the r&d and will offer a particular combination that will uh, that will take care of a particular hepatic disorder 
Sanastra uh, we uh, those uh, who practice uh, in uh, North India or say Central India, we uh, uh, have a little access to all these kalpas. So if it is kashai, uh, some uh, these are from Pandu or Kamala. Now for kashai like uh, Drakshadi, then uh, Parvirkar, Drakdi, Punarnavadi, Falatrayadi, then Vasagudichadi, Vasadi, kashai uh, from uh, Rasasvegam, Gutika like Kittadi, Chandra Prabha Gutika, Pathyadi, Pippali Modakam, Churuna, like Krangarajadi, Karpuradi, Narasimha, Yogaraj, Sudarshan, Apushadi, Leha, Gudabhalata, Chinchadi, Drakshadi, Pippaladi Rasayan, Shatavarigu, Taila, Brangarajadi, Chandanadi, Mahanarante, useful in hepatic disorders, Dhrita, like Ardra, Kalyana, Draksha, then uh, Dashasparas, uh, Dhatradi, Masura, Dashunadi, Shunti, Haridradi, Asav, like Kushmanda Sav, Kharjara Sav, Gandira Sav, Pippala Sav, Abhyarishta, Duralabharishta, and Parpadadharishta. So, these are uh, the preparations from Sahasra Yugam. We know some of these are uh, having Dipanapachan, some are Mutrala, some are uh, Bhedani. And with that particular uh, pharmacokinetic, pharmacodynamics, they are having their action on these liver disorders. These are peculiar Kamalaha remedies in Rasaratnakar. So, Nasya with Arkamul process with Tandulodak. So, with uh, that Arkamul is rubbed with Tandulodak and that uh, expression, so that is instilled through uh, Nasya root. It's an excellent Kamalaha remedy. Anjana with Drona Pushpis for us. And last one, that most in interesting part, that is Netra Palak. Lepana, so that uh, is Lepan with Darvi, Gairi, and Amalki Kalk. We all know uh, whenever a patient suffers, uh, may uh, he be residing in uh, rural population or in urban population. So whenever he suffers from Kamala, he wishes to visit some Baba offering that Piliyaki Dawai. And then uh, he used to visit that Baba and then if he finds no relief, then could be to us. So I was very fascinated about such Baba and then found one Kamlaha remedy. So that was nothing but that Arka Patra. So patients were asked to uh, visit that Baba in morning hours, say before uh, Suryodaya. And uh, then the Baba used to uh, ask them to chew those Arka Patra wrapped in some other leaves. So that patient will not know what uh, the drug is having. So with Arkapatra, the patients uh, had at least 10-12 uh, malavik and that Bhedan uh, property of Ark that uh, used to offer relief, instant relief to all those patients. So these various uh, traditional remedies are uh, still uh, have been practiced in uh, even in urban areas. I have tried to correlate some modern conditions and uh, the Ayurvedic medicines with their suggestive actions. What happens when a patient comes to us? So he is having some of the other uh, report. It could be uh, USG. It could be anything. So that report and uh, patient used to come to us say, I'm having fatty liver. So uh, uh, being in academics, many times we get a call from our uh, scholars, uh, from our students. Sir, the patient is with this is his uh, finding. What can be offered? So I have tried to compile these modern conditions, correlate these modern conditions. So if it is fatty liver, it can be with Arogya Vardhini, then Patul, uh, Patul, Patul, Hinadipat, Panchakul, Churnor, Mahatikta Krut. These are having excellent hepatoprotective activity and they improve hepatic cellular metabolism and then uh, modulate lipid metabolism. For liver cirrhosis, Arogya Vardhini, then Brungaraja Churna and Haridradi Krut can be given the, if they are effective in increasing hepatocellular turnover. So what happens if it is Kshaya, can we uh, arrest the process of Kshaya? So if Kshaya can be arrested, then definitely patient will be having a, a Navajivan to that particular organ, say liver. Alcoholic cirrhosis here, Kumariya so Arugyarmati, Draksha so can be prescribed and they enhance hepatocellular metabolism and growth. 
ड्रग इंडिस्टरोसिस या त्रिपुरत लेह पुनर्नवा मंडोर एंड आमल के रसायन के अंदर गिवन सो दे डू एक्ट एज चिलेटिंग एजेंट एंड एंटी इन्फ्लेमेटरी एक्टिविटी विथ हेपेटाइटिस वी कैन गो विथ नवकार्षी गुब्बुल पुनर्नवा मंडोर आरोग्य भट्टी काशी सभस्म दे ऑफर हेपेटिसलर रिजनरेशन एंड एंटी इन्फ्लेमेटरी एक्टिविटी जॉन्डिस वेल नोन कंडीशन आरोग्यवर्धिनी अश्वकंजू की रस फॉर रुद्रपद कामला दिन हरित की दाढ़ी मावले हो पुनर्नवा पात एंड कुमारी आसो दे ऑफर हेपेटो प्रोटेक्टिव एक्शन इंक्रीज हेपेटिक सेल टर्न ओवर एंड हेल्प इन रिजनरेशन ऑफ हेपेटोसाइट्स सम एडवर्स ड्रग रिएक्शन लाइक वेर वी कैन हैव पुनर्नवादिक पात एंड वासा गुड़चादी कषायम हेपेटो प्रोटेक्टिव एंटी इन्फ्लेमेटरी इफेक्ट सो इफ इट इज वासा इट कैन बी गिवन इवन इन अदर रक्तदुष्टी लाइक रक्तपित्त हेवी मेटल टॉक्सिटी इंड स्लीवर डैमेज हियर इट कुड बी एनीथिंग राइट फ्रॉम ढृंगराज हरिद्रा देन लक्ष्मणादी वट्टी देन धान्य कैन बी गिवन सो दीज आर ऑन चिलेटर्स फॉर हेवी मेटल्स फॉर हेपेट सेलर कार्सिनोमा आरोग्यवर्धिनी वट्टी पुनर्नवादी कषाय एंड हरिद्रादी धोतम They are effect and they are effective in apoptosis and hepatocellular regeneration. I have excluded some uh, rasoshadis for liver cancer. Otherwise, we go with some tamrakalp in liver cancers. But since that is uh, that has already been uh, described by sir, so I have skipped these rasoshadi preparations. Polycystitis, that is inflammation gallbladder. Here, trivial lehem, Kumari Asso, Bhunibadi Kwaat uh, has been prescribed for their anti-inflammatory effect and. Hepatocellular regeneration, cholangitis, that is inflammation of bile duct system. Here, Navakarshi Bhubul and Arogya Vardhini Bati can be prescribed. So that was uh, regarding our studies with reference to chelating action. So uh, we have seen that either the uh, Bhavana Drava or the Shodhan medium or the medium meant for Marant processing for Marant. So all they act as a chelating agent and uh, that takes care of The heavy metals, and if you take care of heavy metals, that will in a, a result into an arrest of liver damage. So liver damage can very well be arrested with all these uh, chelators. So how do the chelators act? That is called molecular docking study. So uh, this is one of the uh, study topics for my PG students, and uh, they are studying hepatoprotective effect with their Hep J2 cell. so non alcoholic fatty liver disease uh, terminally arjun was studied that is arjunic acid uh, with hepatoprotective effect we know with arjun uh, actually basically arjun is meant for hrudaya uh, rog we know arjun arishta we know arjun uh, kshirapak we know arjun pakchur but hepatoprotective effect of arjunic acid was reported in some studies where molecular study dynamics in hepato hep j2 cell was studied so arjunic acid that is pharmacological action include molecular level studies and uh, reduce drug toxicity at cellular level hep j2 cell and also act as sensitizer lipid lowering agents that is high blood cholesterol then antioxidant and decrease the mitochondrial fatty acid oxidation and thus offer hepatoprotective effect actually it's a complex mechanism i tried to uh, simplify it through uh, the diagram so arjunic acid from terminal arjun uh, that is the mechanism docking with uh, the ppar alpha and then uh, in last slide we can see if it is untreated animal so just see the untreated animal cellular structure and with treated animals so i hope the idea is very clear if you treat a person of hepatic disorder with any any of this kashtaushadhi if you treat these patients with any of these rasaushadhis just be careful and then you will definitely you can treat uh, these patients with any intensity so i uh, must say uh, uh, a last point actually uh, since it is uh, raktavah srotas mulasthan so uh, sir has already touched uh, that point i think it was regarding mahalakshmi vilas Uh, we used to offer laghu malini vasant and meant for rasavah srotas shuddhi so if a proper care of uh, rasavah srotas if it is taken then we can see 
after rasabha raktavastrudu dushti will be uh, cleared and similarly uh, laghumalini vasanta is known for rasavastrudu dushti uh, we go with uh, guduchi for uh, this uh, rasavastrudu dushti so guduchi it can be uh, in any form it can be even with amrutarishta so friends uh, that is how we can see actually uh, we uh, know liver is a site for uh, metabolism but many times we make it a dumping yard so dumping yard where proper metabolism if not taken place that will lead to ultimately to uh, cell death and uh, then uh, all those complications will be seen so can we control all these complications at an earlier stage so this was an uh, attempt to let you know how it can be studied so uh, i uh, remember a uh, recent study so uh, actually organizers my friend uh, he offered me the option would you like to speak on kashtoshadi or rasoshadi so i said rasoshadi i said first rasoshadi then said okay rasoshadi uh, i will go with kashtoshadi so that uh, we can have uh, a look at all those this articles being rasha sri we know uh, more or less with rasoshadi but with kashtoshadi i could compile all those matter and uh, that's why i uh, must thank uh, datta sir uh, my friend who had given me this opportunity what happens uh, actually i was referring one article and uh, it was regarding na uh, yoga so uh, the concept of superoxide dismutase sod levels you know uh, superoxide is a free radical so uh, that presence of free radical will lead to oxidative stress will lead to then further damage to that particular organ so what happens can we have can we uh, arrest the progress of all this uh, superoxide so uh, it was uh, i had same kapal bhati pranayam and then bhastrika pranayam that study is going on and uh, some of the studies they do support that uh, these free radicals like superoxide they can be treated with simple yogasan like that is pranayam so friends we have uh, all the shastra astra with us it is uh, the in the form of rasaushadi it is in the form of kashtaushadi and ultimately we need to maintain health so recently i had attended one workshop from uh, neuroscience that was from absolutely from uh, not from ayurveda but from uh, modern sciences so uh, they are with the concept of one health so they used to say we need to maintain health that is not with ayurveda that is not with allopathy so again here i would uh, like to say that is not with rasaushadi that is not with kashtaushadi but ultimately our aim is to help so uh, to maintain health and uh, with this healthy message i would like to say thank you thank you to the organizers thank you uh, to the chairperson uh, co chairperson and uh, the organizers and especially uh, the online participants uh, who have uh, who have been uh, Uh, we have witnessed this uh, this both these sessions so thank you sir thank you uh thank you dr raman sir we truly you, appreciate sir. your lecture thank you sir thank you dr raman sir we truly appreciate your lecture we enjoyed uh, every point your every drugs and every formulation thank you for delivering a valuable knowledge i hope everybody utilize this all formulations all knowledge and uh, in clinical practice thank you so much for spending uh, quality time with us sir uh, now i would like request uh, dr mangal morbale ma'am uh, for opinion and remarkable speech on this session good hmm? good evening all Uh, first i would like to thanks and congratulate honorable uh, datta patil sir principal dhanvantari ayurved medical college kattevar sir jadhav sir and whole team and for uh, arranging this nice uh, national webinar uh, also i am thankful for inviting me as a chairperson uh, balge sir delivered very nice lecture it was very informative that is uh, concept of srotasar liver disorder liver disease is with diagram along with modern information chelation therapy yes, i will add some points hello i am audible 
हाँ मैम हाँ जस्ट आई विल एड सम पॉइंट लिवर इज अवर साइलेंट बडी इन हेल्थ प्रोटेक्शन लिवर परफॉर्म्स ओवर फाइव हंड्रेड टास्क इन आवर बॉडी मेन फंक्शन इज फिल्ट्रेशन ऑफ ब्लड स्क्रबिंग आउट एनीथिंग दैट माइट बी हार्मफुल टू आवर बॉडी लिवर स्प्लीन एंड किडनी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गन इन आवर रोथस दैट इज डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम they all are depends on each other if one will affect other organ will get affect means they are poor excessive intake of amla lavana katura sa also madhyapana tobacco and all affects on liver and uh, liver water soccer uh, alam prabhu sir uh, added uh, told that tamrabas may is uh, uh, very important in uh, liver disorder i will add some points in that somnati tamrabas may is uh, very useful in uh, yakrut vruddhi and uh, liver disorders also faladrika the preparations malge sir already told what uh, faladrika the preparation that is what uh, they are choice of drug uh, in uh, yakrut vruddhi also kumari is best and uh, spices our uh, we are used in today Play a very important role uh, in that is chelating drugs, and haritra also it is acts as antiseptic. It helps in liver uh, to keep liver active. So I will thanks again, uh, Doctor Tata uh, Patil sir and all team. Very um, very present. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am, for your opinion and remarkable speech. uh <clears throat> now i would like to request dr dinesh kelgaukar sir uh, co chairman of this session please conclude uh, this session sir sir please unmute please am i audible now ha uh, sir yes sir yes so good afternoon everyone uh, my seniors my gurus uh, and all the participants uh, especially i would like to thank uh, dr datta patil sir who is a uh, honorable principal hod professor department of uh, samhita and principal of dhanvantri uh, ayurved uh, college udgir and uh, also i am thankful to dr uh, Gururaj sir and uh, Dr. Jadhav sir and especially uh, I'm thankful to uh, uh, the HOD of the department, uh, Dr. Kattevar sir, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, this was total. Uh, this today's two sessions and both the sessions were uh, very nice and very much informative. Dr. Alam Prabhu, Dr. Raman Delge. Wo very eminent speakers uh, they have called and uh, I congratulate for that also because uh, it is a burning issue and they have uh, they have called great people for uh, sharing their thoughts and experience as far as uh, Raman Belge sir I concern he is a very sincere person my senior my guru and all so uh, he has covered uh, the today's topic uh, uh, but but with. much informative uh, manner manner and he has covered all the aspects he has not remained any any part that i have to be focused on that uh, he has thrown light on every aspect of this uh, uh, today's uh, subject so on, only one thing i want to add that uh, there are some drugs which are uh, non dis discussed in ayurvedic text but there are uh, proved uses of the these drugs. so barbasari sata is one of them that is laravaridra uh, which is which is uh, now uh, coming under the end endangered species but laravaridra uh, we can utilize it for or we, we can use it for uh, the um, alcohol uh, this uh, paracetamol induced uh, um, this uh, hepatic toxicity and uh, again uh, it can be also used in uh, strychnine toxicity also strychnine liver toxicity so uh, the drugs like daru haridra kakamachi apamarga bhunimba then dugda feni uh, parijat and all these drugs are to be uh, studied in depth actually i have gone through such uh, some research papers uh, which are which are published uh, in pubmed 
actually herbal medicine for the treatment and prevention of the liver disease by dr mayuresh uh, rajnathan and uh, uh, herbal medicine for liver disease in india so uh, this is uh, the, this is published in the journal of gastroenterology and hepatology 2002 so uh, they have discussed the four drugs especially kutki uh, then um, guruchi and two other drugs are there so again uh, this st um, uh, uh, madhu and all so uh, we have to be uh, very much uh, informative about uh, and uh, suspect about these things but uh, um, we should not use these drugs uh, continuously for longer duration so that they may produce toxicity so, uh, ramon belge sir has uh, murumala madam also said he has covered every topic starting with uh, the strotasa sotomul marga then ati pravruti sangova famous ko how the treatment should be titled one then ratva sotodushi then ahar and vihar then liver disease covered all the diseases of the liver then uh, how are the what are the principles virechana langana raktasravana the drugs for virechana also he has covered adverse reaction of the drug he has covered drug induced liver injury also he has covered so heavy metal i am talking about the heavy metal toxicity of the liver and uh, i am working presently i am working on nagabhasma so um, uh, until unless we uh, we are sure that it is prepared by a very authentic way one should use one should not use that uh, heavy metal uh, for the treatment of any diseases so that is one of the thing i want to tell uh, um, about this and uh, uh, again once again i am uh, very much thankful to all that um, all the arrangers they have arranged such a very nice and burning issue topic uh, like seminar like this and i'm thankful to all the team because they have also um, take lot of efforts uh, to uh, make it su uh, succeed so thank you all of you thank you thank you thank you sir uh, thank you so much dr dinesh sir uh, for uh, your valuable concluding session uh, now i will hand over our uh, now i will hand over dr p d balutkar sir our faculty member to for thanks of board uh thank you guruvar sir uh good evening everyone uh here myself dr pravin de balutkar uh to present the vote of thanks i would like uh, to just thank... a minute sir excuse uh, me sir yes. uh before going to vote of thanks i would like to invite uh, dr josna gulane uh, observer yeah, yeah, yeah. nashik for uh, yeah. her remarks yeah 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 please ma'am please ma'am good afternoon madam good afternoon all and everyone namaskar thank you datta patil sir for giving me this opportunity very nice session <coughs> for student and everyone very informative session uh, thank you kathevar sir and jadhav sir thank you uh, thank you thank you very much ma'am thank you Hello. thank you very much ma'am uh, i would uh, i would like to thank to honorable dr josna gawane ma'am gulani ma'am as observer mhs nasik for joining us with their knowledge i would like to thank our chairperson of the first session honorable dr veena kanti ma'am and the chairperson of the second session honorable dr mangal morwale ma'am for joining with us with their knowledge and concluding remarks i would like to thank our co person uh, co chair person of the first session honorable dr rajesh ingole sir and the co chair person of the second session honorable dr dinesh kelgaukar sir for joining with us with their knowledge here i would like to thanks our guest speakers of the first session honorable dr alam prabhu sir and the guest lecture uh, speaker of the second session honorable dr raman belge sir for giving their valuable insights i would like also to the thanks our principal sir honorable dr datta patil sir uh, for giving the permission to organize such webinar i would also like to doctor uh, thanks dr avinash patil uh, jadhav sir for helping with us on this webinar on the technical grounds i uh, also thankful for my hod dr kattewar sir and my colleague dr gunwaj varnale sir for 
the kind support and with this i we are going to close the today's webinar thank you thank you so much yes sir a small announcement for all the delegates uh, and the participants please fill the feedback form uh, which is in the chat box of the youtube as well as the uh, zoom uh, if you are filling the feedback form then uh, then only uh, the automatic generation of the certificate will take place if you are not filling the feedback form the certificate will not be dispatched certificates will be dispatched after 15 days from now thank you very much thank you sir